Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Hello, Orange Room friends. It's nice to see you. I'm going to sign in on my piece of paper, and I'm going to write my name. I don't know if you're doing this at your house with crayons or pencils or markers, but it's nice to keep writing our name and keep practicing. So hello to Anne and to Raina in the morning and to Linda and Maria in the afternoon class. And hello to Vicki and Sadie and Olivia and Lucy and Micah and Maeve and Madison and Caitlin and Henry and Eva and Iman and Desmond and Ben and Ariane and Ari and William and Seamus and Santiago and Mariana and Kareem and Nora and Nick and Maya and Juliana and Jet and Jasper and Ilan and Emily and Clara and Carol and Claire and to Bella. These are all our Orange Room friends, and I miss you very much. So I thought we'd better start with our calendar. And Orange Room friends, let's see. It is a new month since I last saw you. It is the month of May. And we are trying to figure out what this day is. Yesterday was Monday. So to, what comes after Monday? Let's sing our song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we raised our hands, I think, for Tuesday, didn't we? All right, so it's Tuesday. Now, if you don't know what the pattern is and I don't know what the pattern is, let's see. We've got a new thing going here. Green, pink, orange, green triangle. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to see what it is because I don't know. It's pink and it's a number five because five comes after four. So one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I don't think we have a pattern yet, do we? Just discovering it. Square, green square, pink square, orange square, green triangle, pink triangle. Hmm. What, 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 what would work here? Square, 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 triangle, triangle. Green, pink, orange, green, pink. Hmm. Think about that to see what happens for the next day. Um, all right, so I have a mystery bag for us today. Right here. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. It's kind of big. Can you see this? All right. And it's, let's see if it's hard or soft. It's definitely hard. All right. What's in the mystery bag? Who can tell? Maybe a bucket, maybe a bell. What's in the mystery bag? We can't see. It's a surprise for you and me. All right, clue number one. It's a liquid. So it's in here, and it's a liquid. Well, I mean, it could be milk or orange juice or water. It's not. All right, clue number two. It has bubbles. Hmm. Soda pop has bubbles. It's not soda pop. So it's a liquid and it has bubbles. Oh, clue number three. It cleans things like dishes. Ooh. So it's a liquid, it has bubbles, and it cleans things like dishes. Should we look? Is dish soap. This is Dawn dish soap. Hmm. I wonder why that was in our mystery bag. Very interesting. 
All right, Orange and Friends. Let's get back to that in just a minute. But I have a story for you today. And <coughs> it's called Mine. And it is written by Kevin Luthart. I think he wrote and illustrated the pictures. Where they live. Looks like they live out in the country. Oh, look. Looks like somebody sent a package. It's like that person sent a package, and it says from Granny, 229 Campanelli Road in Lindenville, Wisconsin, and it's addressed to Toby and Marcus at 2101 Waverly Lane in Horton, Illinois. Looks like Granny sent these two a package. Toby and Marcus. Hmm. There's the mail truck. He's delivering the package to the door to those two. This is what he says. Mine? Oh, he thinks that. And he thinks that. There's little dots. And then there's a word, mine. And you see those little dots? It's what people are thinking. And they have it like up in a cloud. Oh, and look at the dog. He says, woof. Ooh, and now look what they're thinking. They're both thinking, what could it be? It could be a rocket ship, a ball, drums, could be candy, and a yo-yo, and a truck. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Ooh. Looks like a dinosaur. And they both yell, mine! Or they both think that, I should say. Oh. Uh-oh, he took it. He says, mine. Uh-oh, look. He took it out the door, and he's walking away with it. Mine, 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 mine. I think that's fair. Let's see. Oh, he's very, very mad. Uh-oh, what does he do? He jumps out the door, he says, mine! Uh-oh. This is hard to turn. Uh-oh. Mine, mine, mine! And the dog's barking, bark, bark, bark. Uh-oh, and he took it and he says, mine. And the dog says, rough. Hmm, does that seem fair or nice? Uh-oh, now look what's happening. They're both pulling it and yelling, mine, no, it's mine. And the dog's barking, Woof! Oh no, look what happened. You see, it ripped. Brand new toy from Granny and they couldn't share it and it ripped. What's mom's face? Does she look happy or sad or mad? She looks pretty mad. Looks like she's pointing to them to go inside to their rooms. Mm. Let's see. Uh-oh. I think they had to go think about what was wrong. And they had to sit on their beds. And you can see this bubble says, lunch. Mom's calling from downstairs. So they're still mad. And they go down for lunch. What do you think is going to happen? Aw, look. She made them lunch. There's Mom. And did she sew up the dinosaur? She did. And look, their faces are very happy, aren't they? <gasps> Yours. Look at that. He says yours. Oh, and he says yours. Oh my goodness. Are they gonna start sharing the toy? Look, they said ours. 
they are going to start sharing the toy, aren't they? It's more fun when you share the toy because then you can play together. It's probably hard at home if, if you have family sometimes and you have to share. And you guys are home a lot now and you probably have to share more than you used to. But you know what? You are from the orange room and you guys share in the orange room all the time. So I'm sure you can keep practicing that at home. Okay, so back to this soap, this dish soap. I was thinking that we could make bubbles and uh, go blow them outside. And if we can't blow them inside, you, maybe you could blow them like in your sink or you could blow them in your bathtub. And there's lots of ways to make bubbles. And uh, I have here, let's see if you can see this now. I'll move this down a little. Um, I have uh, a, a roasting pan <laughs> that I use, and it's full of water. And I'm going to dump this soap in it. This is the Stone soap. And I'm going to get it off my um, cup that I used. And I used about two cups of water, and there's a third a cup of soap in here. And I wrote down the, this recipe for your parents. But what I want to know is how if this works to blow bubbles. And you know what? In my house, I couldn't find I couldn't find any bubble blowers that sometimes come in bubbles that you can buy at the store. But I thought it'd be more fun to make your own. And I have a secret ingredient that I'm going to put in in a little bit to see if it makes the bubbles better. But I have all these different. Um, Things I thought I could use to blow bubbles. I have a hanger. Can you see that? It's just a hanger. And that's why I have a big container, because I wanted to put it in here and see if I could get it to work. And make a bubble. I'll have to see if I can I'll try it outside. And then I had a strainer, which I was going to see if I could try to blow bubbles in. And then I had a potato masher. And I had the top of a blender has a big circle in it and I thought oh, I could blow through that and then I had an egg separator and I thought I could use that and I had a cookie cutter so I was gonna try that and I also had the top of a, of a gravy strainer which has all those little circles in it I thought that might be interesting to use and I also have um, an apple slicer but you have to be careful with this if you're gonna use it because it's sharp on one side so I want to make sure you use it with a grown-up and um, then I had just a strainer that there's lots and lots of little holes in this. I thought we could blow through or this way when I stick it in. So we'll see what happens. And then I also just have a piece of string, which I can tie together and just make a loop. Just put it through like you were going to tie a lace. And I have a little loop. And I can stick it in here and see if I can make bubbles with that. So I was going to take this stuff outside and see what worked. And then I was going to see if it got better if I used my secret ingredient. So let me pause and go outside and do this. Okay. So now I'm outside and I have my container and it's bubbly and I'm going to put this in and see what happens if I blow bubbles with it. Ooh, it works. It's kind of big bubbles all around. I wonder if I can wave it. Oh, kind of works. All right, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to use my strainer and see what happens. It's making little bubbles. Can you see little bubbles? All right, now I'm going to try my egg separator. It's working. 
All right, let's see. I'm going to try this blender top. Gonna hold it. Kinda. All right, so I have this secret ingredient. This is called light corn syrup. It comes in a container and it's kind it's sticky and it's sweet and it's um it's like honey. And I poured some in here. I've poured about a quarter cup in here. And I'm going to see what happens when I pour it in here. And I'm going to stir it. I have a little fork. Let's see what happens here. If it does anything to make my bubbles work better. Got to get it all out. It's very, see how slow it is to come out? They say in, it, when you look this up, you can use glycerin too. And I didn't have any glycerin because I'm not going to store all that much. But I did have corn syrup in my house. And you can cook with corn syrup. It's, it's a sweetener. You can make popcorn balls with it. They're hard on your teeth. All right, so I'm mixing it up, mixing it in, and then I'm going to see if it makes any difference in my bubbles. All right, let's use, let's start with this again. try to fly these bubbles around and see what happens. Oh, it's just getting my computer wet. Hmm. Very interesting. It's still making bubbles. I'm going to try that egg beater again. It makes it a nice hole. Whoa. All right. So, this is what I'm going to do, because it's good to be outside, or you could do this in your bathtub, and it's fun. So I'm going to keep playing around with all of these kinds of things, and I'd be interested to see what, what you thought was the best bubble wand that you had at your house. Who knows if this will work? Let's see. Nope. It won't work. Do you know why? Look at how it's made. It doesn't go around in a circle for the bubble to connect, does it? It's not working. Let's see about this one. Ooh. Ooh, that floated away. This is fun. All right, Orange Room friends, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you next time.